Got the first snake of the day there. A little tiny, this year's young ribbon snake. I'm not gonna bother catching him. Just gonna let him do his thing and uh, gonna keep herping. Second snake of the day is a much larger ribbon snake. That's as far as the zoom goes, but it's uh, right in the center of the screen there. Not gonna even attempt to walk through this and get it. Totally not even worth it. But uh, yeah, gonna keep at her. All right, y'all hear that? First, I thought it was an armadillo. Uh, but I got a glimpse through the palmetto here, and there's a huge snapping turtle walking directly towards me. I was actually kind of looking right at him for a second, and he noticed me, and he stopped. So I uh, got out of his line of sight, and he just began walking again. And I, I could just barely see him through here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till he gets out onto the trail here, so we get some footage of him. All right, dude's kind of taking forever to come out. Um, and because he's not the target, I'm not really going to sit here and wait for him. But here's the best shot I could get without disturbing him too much. Um, yeah, common snapper. Pretty sick. Interesting habitat to see him in as well. Um, at least for me. I don't know. I don't really uh, come out to this kind of environment too often. Very limited experience out this way. And uh, all the common snappers I've seen come out of, like, the uh, creek systems of the Edwards Plateau. So, uh, yeah, just neat little observation here. Gonna leave them alone and uh, keep looking for cane breaks. Third snake of the day. Nice little cotton mouth right there. I'm just gonna wait right here and see if he comes my way. So, as y'all can see, this dude's just slithering right towards me. But uh, honestly, I'm more concerned with the bees congregating here than I am of the cotton mouth. Look at that, just swimming right past me. No signs of aggression, no signs of defense. Dude's just living his life. How beautiful. That snake of the day on the crawl there. Anthropus obsoletus. Very sick. Here's just a closer look at this guy. He's just chilling, being super cooperative. What a gentleman. I'm not gonna bother fucking with him, and uh, I'm just gonna let him continue on his way. Got this cotton mouth that just crossed the road. Might even be the same one from earlier. I'm really close to uh, where I found that first one. And as you can see, he just crossed here and he made his way into the palmage. Sweet. So it's now November 8th, um, about a week and a half after the uh, first part of this video. And um, yeah, we had, a, we had a pretty intense little cold snap that lasted a few days, but <clears throat> It has since warmed up, and I've made my way back out here to uh, the edge of West Texas, and uh, I'm definitely gonna try to do some cut shining tonight. And every time I think it, like this is this is my third attempt. You know, the first time I was like, oh, okay, like this is the last night of alternate season. Then I got a second chance. Oh, this is the last night of alternate season. I think this this now will be the last night of alternate season. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to take a crack at it and see what we could uh, turn up. First things first, I'm going to be doing a little bit of day cruising uh, a bit further north of where I'm going to be shining cuts. So uh, let's see what we can turn up. Bah, turn up a bit. Just cruised the first snake of the evening. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, let's go. It's a line snake. Holy crap! This is actually a lifer for me! Let's fucking go! That thing's a lot skinnier than I thought they'd be. They always look pretty chunky in the in the pictures that I see, but perhaps this one gave birth this season and that's why it's uh, looking a little slender, but very sick! Very, very, very sick! 
I was not anticipating this particular life or I kind of figured this would be a uh, like a flipping venture type deal but very awesome this is my first lap on the road so far and uh, you know it really doesn't get much better than this unless I cruise a, uh, <coughs> a mass saga but you know what I'm, I'm super thankful for this guy Here's just a closer look at this little feller. He's got a really cool belly. Look at that pattern. That's sick. I'm super stoked on finding this guy. I'm so glad I got a lifer today. I mean, even if we don't get any of the big target species, I am still pretty stoked. But you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm going to get back to cruising, and uh, hopefully we can turn up a target. Uh, little guy. Now, turn. Go that way. Go that way. You were going that way. Don't face the road. Go the other way. Well, I I'm sure it'll be fine. There's really not a lot of traffic on this road. All right, guys. I've been shining cuts for, I think, about 20 minutes now. And I got... A lep. First snake of the night in November. What the fuck is up? That is awesome. What a great start to the night. I'm so stoked on it. I'm going to see if he comes down a little more. It looks like he's kind of thinking about it. Uh, so I'll get back to y'all if he comes down. Got the next snake of the night. It's a little juvie something. Oh, here we go. Little Aatrox. No surprise there. Glad snakes are moving, though. I was a little nervous about coming out tonight, just, you know, it being November, and we had a pretty gnarly little cold snap last week. Um, but yeah, here we have it, second snake of the night. Gonna keep going. This dude's still just kind of chilling here. I can't really see him all that well right here. Uh, it's a lot easier to see with my eyes than it is with the camera. There you go. There he is moving. Yeah, hasn't gone up, hasn't gone down. Just kind of stayed in this little pocket here. Like I said, really hoping he'll come a little bit lower at some point in the night, but you know, we'll see. I am walking the edge of the road. I'm in between cuts here. See, there's no cut there. There's one down there that I just came from, and there's one up there that I'm going to. And I just road walked a Pictogaster. <laughs> uh, come on, buddy. I don't know why they're always so flighty. Like, why can't we just be chill? This one's really pretty. I mean, they're always really pretty, but can you just, can you just, can you just stop? Can we just stop? Maybe we could just stop for a second. Maybe we could just... Ah, God damn it. <laughs> How about this? There we go. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, third snake of the night. It's been a little while since uh, that GVA trucks. And temps have dropped, I think, uh, I don't know, a couple degrees. Where I was actually um, considering this as uh, my last cut of the night, just cause we're about to drop below 70. If not, I think we're already below 70. Uh, but still, you know, it's clearly it's possible to find things in the upper 60s. And I knew it to be true, but you know, the odds are just always lowered when temps aren't ideal. But uh, yeah, I think this is a sign that, and the sign is just keep keep going, keep going all night long, right? I mean, this is this is it. I'm grasping at the straws of summer here. It's fucking November, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last decently warm night of the year out here. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Did will you just sit still for me? There, he's finally sitting still for us. There's an animal over there. A decent sized animal. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. But yeah. Here's tonight's copperhead. 
And I say this all the time, per usual, this damn camera's just not picking up the color. Once again, another beautifully colored copperhead. Very, very red. But, uh, yeah, gonna just, uh, keep, keep, uh, you know, encouraging this guy to get off the road. Okay, you can keep going now. I'm not in your way anymore. Go ahead, take your sweet ass time. Maybe he doesn't want to go over there because that's where the fucking... That noise came from. <laughs> you know, not like he heard it, but maybe he tastes it. Who knows? Snakes are weird. To be honest with y'all, I think this might be the best look we're going to get at him. Uh, he's not super high up there. I could definitely reach him with my hook, but I'd, I'd kind of rather just not disturb him. I haven't seen a snake for two hours now. Um... But I just cruised up this Aatrox here. Oh, shit, boy. You need to relax, boy. <laughs> Woo. Made me tighten my butthole up there. Damn, son. Pretty good-sized uh, Aatrox. Kind of unhealthy looking. A little thin for his length. But, uh, I mean, just look at the segments on a goddamn hoe. It's a good-looking snake, to say the least. Um, but yeah, I, I called it quits and I'm actually on my way out. And, uh, I mean, like I said, I hadn't seen a snake in two hours and then this dude was just chilling in the road here. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still done for the night though. I'm exhausted and, uh, well, I got one more cut to shine, but it's a little tiny baby one. So, this may or may not be the last snake of the night. I guess we'll see. Well... That does it for Cut Shining Season 2023. I'm pretty stoked on how the season ended, although I would have been a little bit happier had I shined up an Alterna. But you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, all the more reason I hit it extra hard next year. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this one and uh, I'll see y'all in the next.